I haven't had a chance to address that yet. It has come out now that the NFL has signed an 11-year, $110 billion <laughs> media rights deal. Jeez. That obviously goes for the next 11 years or whatever. A lot of things happening in this. Amazon, a streaming company, has exclusive rights to Thursday Night Football. This is massive for the internet digital community. Congrats to Bezos, Amazon, getting Thursday Night Football out right. of now, you'd assume with Amazon, the streaming service, if they're going to invest $1 billion into one game out of the week, they're probably going to invest more money into NFL content. And we'd like to let you know that we are an NFL content show. Oh, yeah. And it seems like you guys potentially have some cash over there. You can... Hey, we can talk about it if you'd like, but I'm pumped that the future is kind of appearing in the present in the form of a streaming company getting exclusive rights. I assume the next deal that's made, whether it's seven years, I think a seven year out is available in all these media deals they made. Seven years, you're going to see, you know, Google, Apple, maybe even Netflix is trying to get into podcasting, mm -hmm. I guess, more Amazon. You're going to see a lot of change from the big name companies. Now, Fox, CBS, ESPN, NBC, all in the game for the next 11 years, all around 2 million except for ESPN that's like 2.7 billion dollars uh not not million sorry 2 billion uh Sunday night football is 2 billion I think CBS is at like 2.2 .2 billion Fox is at 2.1 billion this is all per year ESPN's like 2.7 or 2.6 billion uh, and then the 1 billion obviously from Amazon so DirecTV still keeps Sunday ticket which is a oh. massive kick in the sack mm -hmm. Raj my my commissioner can we please get off the bullshit sketchy satellite so I can watch an entire game without being, you know, an entire set of games without being tied to a system that is a fugazi that will let you down whenever, you know, maybe the sun gets tired and the clouds come out, all of a sudden you can't watch a game. Hopefully that'll change in seven years. But congrats to the NFL finding a way to sign a $110 billion deal right on the other side of a worldwide stoppage in a pandemic. Uh, that's the NFL for you, though. They just rake in cash at all times. The cap next year, do you think, because of this, will yeah. go up yeah. what, $20 million maybe? So they said it's going to be about $210 Million, which is what it would have been, they're saying, even if the quarantine thing didn't happen. So uh, Jim Irsay yesterday in his press conference was talking about how he had to be prudent because there's potential revenue loss going forward. But I believe the salary cap is going to get right back on schedule because of the 17 game season that is going to be voted on, I guess, in a couple weeks. Let's assume that happens. That's more money, more billions coming in. They're going to be able to build this thing. And they're saying in four or five years, $250 million salary cap. This year, it's 182.5. Look for you know, with the signing bonus instead of contract, money hiding, voidable years, look for offseason to get ridiculous in the NFL, and we're going to be here for it for sure. Well, I just want to know what the Packers are going to be able to do in all this because you see all these teams <laughs> doing this, and then, but several of these teams are still cash-strapped and can't really do anything, so it makes no sense to me. I, I thought that, you know, it was an equal piece of the pie, but maybe it's not. I thought, <laughs> you know.